Welcome to Pro Webcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. D today is Thursday, April 1st, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Paul Wilson. Today's news is sponsored by Covenant Reliance Producers. We build success stories. For more information, please visit crproducers.com. Now for today's headlines. The number of U.S. workers filing new claims for unemployment aid fell last week, while factory activity in March reached its highest level in more than five years. The government's upcoming employment report for March is expected to show that non-farm payrolls grew for just the second time since the recession began in December 2007. Initial claims for unemployment benefits fell 6,000 to a seasonally adjusted 439,000, according to the Labor Department report. Meanwhile, the four-week moving average of new claims dropped 6,750 to 447,250, reaching the lowest level since September 2008. Finally, the Institute for Supply Management's Index of National Factory Activity climbed to 59.6, the highest reading since July 2004. In employment news, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner says he expects the unemployment rate will remain high for a long time, despite signs of economic recovery and job growth. Quote, I think the key thing that's going to happen is the economy is going to start creating new jobs again, but the unemployment rate is still terribly high and is going to stay unacceptably high for a long period of time, unquote. His comments come the day before a government report is expected to show that U.S. employers added 190,000 jobs in March, but the unemployment rate remains at 9.7 percent. Geithner said that it will take a long time to regain what was lost during the recession, citing steps by President Obama to spur economic growth and job growth, including a $17.6 billion bill passed earlier this month. In insurance news, the National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors has named Susan Waters as Chief Executive Officer. She has been serving as the group's acting CEO since December after replacing John Healy. Waters has acted as Deputy CEO of NAFA since 2007 and once served as the President of Sexton Consulting. She's also previously held leadership positions in several associations, including her role as CEO of the California Society of Certified Public Accountants and Executive Director of the Massachusetts Bar Association. She has also been a licensed insurance broker, as well as an executive vice president at an insurance agency. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching ProWebcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit ProducersWeb.com.